NASA's Spirit rover sent over 124,000 images from Mars, but some of its last snapshots, they never reached Earth. And what might have been in those missing frames could change everything we thought we knew about Mars. Picture this, a robot explorer stuck in Martian sand, cameras still rolling in its final moments. Spirit was trapped at a location called Troy. And this wasn't just any random patch of dirt. This was near home plate, a volcanic formation where scientists had already discovered something extraordinary. Silica deposits, the same mineral signatures that on Earth mark ancient hot springs, places where life once thrived. Spirit's mission was supposed to last 90 days. Instead, it survived over six years, sending back image after image that rewrote our understanding of Mars. But here's what's haunting. Rovers like Spirit can store hundreds of photos in their memory banks before transmitting them to Earth. When power fails, when communication dies, those final images vanish forever. Was Spirit silenced right on the edge of revealing proof of ancient Martian life? The rover's last transmission came on March 22, 2010. But what happened in those final souls, those Martian days, before the cold and darkness claimed it? The images that never made it home might hold the answer to humanity's greatest question. Are we alone? What NASA recovered from Spirit's final location tells an incredible story. But what they didn't recover? That might be the most important story of all. Spirit didn't just die anywhere on Mars. It died at one of the most scientifically explosive locations on the entire planet. Home Plate, a volcanic plateau that had already sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Here's why this location is absolutely crucial. The soil beneath Spirit's wheels contained massive concentrations of silica. Not just any silica, but the exact type found around Earth's ancient hot springs. Places like Yellowstone, where boiling water meets rock and creates the perfect environment for microbial life to flourish and fossilize. On Earth, these hot spring environments preserve something incredible, stromatolites. These are layered rock structures created by ancient bacteria, some of the oldest evidence of life on our planet. They form distinctive patterns, almost like geological fingerprints of life itself. When scientists first discovered Spirit's silica deposits, the implications were staggering. Steve Squires, the mission's principal investigator, called these findings among the strongest evidence for past habitability on Mars. But here's what keeps researchers awake at night. Spirit was equipped with a microscopic imager. It could photograph rock textures at incredible detail, down to patterns that would reveal whether those silica formations showed biological structures. Think about Spirit's final days differently now. This wasn't just a rover getting stuck in sand. This was humanity's most advanced geological detective, positioned directly over what might be Mars's equivalent of the primordial soup, with cameras capable of capturing proof of ancient life. If you love uncovering these hidden space mysteries, make sure to subscribe. We bring you stories you won't hear anywhere else. If those unsent frames contained evidence of fossil-like patterns, the debate on life on Mars would look very different today. Instead of asking, could life have existed on Mars? We might be asking, how long ago did it die out? And what Spirit left behind wasn't just speculation. Later orbiters revealed odd terrain textures around its final site that scientists still can't fully explain. After Spirit died, something unusual happened. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter began repeatedly photographing the exact spot where Spirit had breathed its last. The high-rise camera, capable of seeing objects as small as a dinner table from orbit, turned its lens toward Troy multiple times. In these orbital images, Spirit appears as a tiny reflective dot, gleaming in the Martian sun. But look closer at what surrounds it. The terrain around Spirit's final resting place shows fractures, shadows, and geological textures that don't match the surrounding landscape. Linear formations stretch across the ground in patterns that seem almost too organized to be natural. Take a look at this. NASA's own high-rise camera revisited Spirit's gravesite multiple times. Why? Was it just to check on the rover? Or did they see something in the ground that caught their eye? These weren't casual snapshots, high-rise. Imaging time is precious, allocated months in advance. Every picture costs money and resources. Yet, NASA kept pointing this billion-dollar eye in the sky, 
back at one small patch of Martian dirt where a dead rover sat motionless. The official explanation? Monitoring the rover's condition. But that raises an uncomfortable question. Once Spirit was confirmed dead, what was there left to monitor? The rover wasn't going anywhere. It wasn't changing. So what exactly were they looking for in the ground beneath it? Some researchers noticed something else troubling in these images. The fracture patterns around Spirit's location don't appear random. They form geometric shapes, almost like a network spreading outward from the rover's position. On Earth, similar patterns often indicate subsurface water activity, or geological processes we're only beginning to understand. But this isn't the first time a Mars mission got this close to a breakthrough. And then silence. Here's where this story gets truly unsettling. Spirit's lost images aren't an isolated incident. They are part of a pattern that stretches back decades, every time humanity edges closer to answering the ultimate question about Mars. 1976. NASA's Viking landers performed the first direct tests for life on Mars. The results? Ambiguous positives that could indicate biological activity. But funding dried up, and the life detection experiments were never repeated on subsequent missions. 2009. Spirit discovers those silica hot spring deposits we talked about, then dies before fully documenting them. 2018, Opportunity Rover's final transmission gets cut off mid-image. NASA explains the last frame was incomplete, leaving us with a haunting, partially transmitted photograph that shows, what exactly? 2022, Curiosity photographs, what looks like a perfectly rectangular doorway carved into Martian rock. NASA quickly dismisses it as natural geology, but the dismissal comes suspiciously fast for such an extraordinary formation. 2024, Perseverance carefully seals rock samples into containers, destined for Earth return sometime in the 2030s. Those samples remain locked away, their secrets hidden for another decade. Every time we get close to the life question, something interrupts, equipment fails, missions end, Data gets classified or delayed. Images go missing, coincidence, or a pattern. The timing is what makes this pattern so disturbing. Not random failures, but failures at crucial moments, right when breakthrough discoveries seem within reach. And what if the story of spirit isn't over? What if new technology could bring back details from those lost frames? Here's where this story takes a fascinating turn toward hope. Artificial intelligence has already achieved the impossible with ancient mysteries. AI algorithms have successfully reconstructed fragments of the Dead Sea Scrolls that were too damaged for human eyes to read. They have deciphered burnt papyrus scrolls from Pompeii that were turned to charcoal 2,000 years ago. In 2023, researchers used machine learning to read text from the Herculaneum Scrolls, Manuscripts so badly burned that unrolling them would destroy them completely. The AI didn't just guess. It actually mapped carbon ink patterns invisible to human analysis, revealing words that hadn't been read since the Roman Empire. Think about it. If AI can read fragments of burnt scrolls, why not faint data noise from spirit? The rover's last words might still be hidden in the static. Every space mission generates massive amounts of raw data. Not just the pretty pictures we see, but thousands of incomplete transmissions, partial files, and corrupted signals that get filed away as unusable. NASA's Deep Space Network receives these fragmentary transmissions constantly. But human analysis can only extract so much from damaged data. Modern AI doesn't work the same way human eyes do. It can detect patterns and noise that look like random static to us. It can piece together partial image fragments, enhance corrupted signals, and even predict what missing data should look like based on surrounding information. Spirit's final communications weren't just silence. There were partial transmissions, incomplete data packets, and corrupted files that arrived on Earth, but couldn't be properly decoded with 2010 technology. Those files still exist in NASA's archives. The last secrets of Spirit may still be waiting, locked in code, waiting for a new generation of tools to reveal them. What seemed like meaningless static 15 years ago might contain the most important images in human history. The engineers who worked on Spirit didn't just lose a machine, they lost a friend. And their own words reveal how close they believe humanity came to a world-changing discovery. John Callis, Spirit's project manager, 
and other JPL engineers have spoken in interviews about the crushing frustration of losing contact. They didn't just say, the rover died, they said Spirit may have died just short of a major discovery. These weren't casual words from disappointed scientists. These were statements from people who understood exactly what Spirit was positioned to find. Think about what that means. These engineers knew Spirit's location better than anyone. They knew about the silica deposits, the hot spring evidence, the biological implications. When they say Spirit died, just short of a breakthrough, they're not talking about routine rock samples. Steve Squires, the mission's principal investigator, has admitted that losing Spirit felt personal. After six years of daily communication, the rover had become more than hardware. It was humanity's ambassador to another world, sending back postcards from places no human had ever seen. But the most haunting detail comes from the mission timeline. Spirit's final images were taken during February 2010, as Martian winter approached. The rover was systematically photographing its immediate surroundings, documenting everything within reach of its cameras. Standard protocol for a dying mission. Capture everything possible before the end. It wasn't just a machine closing its eyes forever. It was humanity's eyes. And those eyes closed when something extraordinary might have been in view. The engineers knew it. The scientists knew it. And that knowledge has haunted the Mars exploration community for over a decade. What makes this tragedy even more profound is the timing. Spirit didn't just randomly break down. It died during one of the most scientifically promising phases of its entire mission. Now, let's step back and look at the complete picture of Spirit's remarkable journey. This wasn't just any rover that happened to stumble onto something extraordinary. Spirit launched in 2003 as part of NASA's most ambitious Mars exploration program at the time. The mission parameters were modest, survive 90 Martian days, travel about 1,000 meters, and analyze a handful of rocks. NASA's engineers hoped for the best, but planned for equipment failures in the harsh Martian environment. Instead, Spirit became one of the greatest overachievers in space exploration history. 90 days turned into six years. 1,000 meters became over seven kilometers of exploration. A handful of rock samples became over 124,000 individual images that transformed our understanding of Mars. For most of its mission, Spirit operated flawlessly. It climbed hills that were never supposed to be reachable. It analyzed mineral compositions that revealed Mars had once been warm and wet. It discovered evidence of ancient volcanic activity and water-carved landscapes that painted a picture of a planet dramatically different from the frozen desert we see today. But in April 2009, everything changed. Spirit's right front wheel, which had been malfunctioning for years, finally gave out completely. The rover became stuck in a patch of soft, powdery soil, later named Troy. What seemed like a routine obstacle became Spirit's final prison. NASA's engineers spent months trying to free their robotic explorer. They sent over 1,200 different commands, trying every conceivable driving technique. They tested identical rovers in Earth-based sandboxes, searching for an escape strategy. Nothing worked. As Martian winter approached in 2010, Spirit faced its greatest challenge. Unlike Earth, Mars receives much less sunlight. And during winter, temperatures plummet to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Spirit's solar panels, already coated with years of dust, couldn't generate enough power to keep vital systems warm. The last successful communication from Spirit came on March 22, 2010. NASA officially declared the mission over in May 2011, but they continued listening for any possible signal until well into that year. The silence was complete. Those 124,000 images Spirit transmitted are all safely archived in NASA's planetary data system, freely available to researchers and the public worldwide. But the question that haunts everyone involved is simple. What about the images that never made it home? So here we are, over a decade later, still wondering about those final moments. Spirit's hidden last images aren't hidden because of some conspiracy or cover-up. They're hidden because they never left Mars. Think about it this way. Spirit was a photographer trapped in the most scientifically important location it had ever found, with cameras still functional during its final days of life. Standard protocol would have been to photograph everything within reach, documenting the site for future analysis. 
But what if those missing frames contained more than sand? What if they held the first whispers of Martian life? A discovery we'll never see. The mineral signatures were there. The ancient hot spring environment was confirmed. The microscopic imaging capability was operational. Everything needed for a breakthrough discovery was in place, except time and power. This isn't science fiction speculation. On Earth, similar silica formations preserve some of our planet's oldest evidence of life. If Mars followed the same rules, Spirit was positioned at exactly the right place to capture proof that we're not alone in the universe. The tragedy isn't just that Spirit died, it's that it died with secrets locked in its memory banks, frozen forever in the Martian soil. But maybe the story isn't over, Spirit may be gone, but the mystery of its final images lives on. Future Mars missions will undoubtedly return to the home plate region. Advanced A, I might one day extract meaning from corrupted data signals we can't decode today. And somewhere in NASA's archives, partial files and incomplete transmissions might still hold fragments of those lost moments. One day, AI or future explorers may uncover what was really left behind at Troy. Until then, we're left with one of space exploration's most tantalizing what-ifs. So, what do you think? Were Spirit's last unseen frames just dust and rock? Or could they hold something extraordinary? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, because the next hidden story from Mars is already waiting.